Excuse me, sir. Your host would like to see you privately in his suite. Uh-huh. And my companion? She'll be safe with us. At last we meet face to face, Mr. Bond. I've been looking forward to this ever since you killed Max Soren. Then I assume you're looking forward to suffering the same fate. Pity you're not as quick with your gun as you are with the car. What did you do with the girl? She's been taken care of. Help! Get your hands off me! Too bad, Mr. Bond. By winning that race, you lost your life and hers. Good night. Prepare to die, Mr. Bond. You first. Hey, you! Welcome back to Everything or Nothing. I'm Frozen Treasure. Bond, you must locate Miss Saint-Germain and get out of there before reinforcements arrive. I really don't think Willem Dafoe thought this whole thing through, but at least he didn't strap us into an overly elaborate, slow-moving and easily escapable death machine. Seriously though, this level is not easy. Lots of enemies swarming us, and for the most part, we don't have a lot of ammo. At this point in the game, being able to pull off headshots with reliable consistency is a good skill to have. Or, at the very least, being able to tank damage like nobody's business. That is possibly the trickiest Bond moment to get in the entire game. Getting one enemy backed up against the railing without killing them in the process, and without getting killed by other enemies, is not an easy thing to accomplish. Whereas a lot of the tougher Bond moments call upon the player's skill, that one is far more luck based than anything else, and it's a little annoying. Like the lasers beforehand, these shutters aren't here in operative difficulty, and also like the lasers, they're controlled by the same switch. But before we go get it, remember that keycard that we picked up the last time we were here? I like that our actions in a previous level can alter some parts of future ones. I wish it had happened more often, but apart from the driving levels, we almost never actually see the same place twice. Shame. We know Serena hasn't left the building, so she must be nearby. Look for a secret door of some kind. Can't imagine where one of those would be. I thought you'd never get here. Patience is a virtue. Let's go. So far, 
car so good, 007, but that's not an armoured vehicle. You'll have to avoid those patrols if you expect to deliver Miss Saint Germain home in one piece. Careful, James! Those guys should block the stairs next time. Obviously, we don't have any of our fancy weapons in the race car, but it's heavy enough to take out the motorbikes, and that's all we really need until we get to something more equipped. talking about a platinum mine on the north side of town. Perhaps I should go there and dig up some information. I warned them about the stairs. Keeps happening. We need to fire the shotgun so that the accuracy and efficiency can get boosted from the flamethrower. The way it's calculated by the game, if we fire zero shots of anything, the most we can ever get is Last time we came down this way, we went to the ruins near the mine. Now we're headed to the mine itself. M, the route to the mine appears blocked. Be resourceful, 007, and see if you can find an alternate way in. This is an incredibly fun section, as well as the only time where having to go in a big circle due to some sort of blockage feels completely justified. It can also be incredibly frustrating should we fall from the rooftops. That gap is a lot tougher to squeeze through than it looks. The second totally guaranteed Bond moment. Disappointed. I thought we were going to have dinner in London. James Bond. Delighted you could join us. I guess you're not here for small talk, are you? 
Only if you consider using nanobots to destroy New Orleans small. <laughs> Look at the big picture. In 12 hours, I will be in Moscow, where my nanobots will destroy the Kremlin. And after I take over Russia, Europe will follow. I've seen that movie, Diablo. It always ends badly. My platinum army is unstoppable, Mr. Bond. My nanotech weapons destroy all metal they touch. And it appears the only weapon you have left is sarcasm. Kill him! Goodbye, James. Did Willem Dafoe really not learn anything? Literally the exact same thing not even one hour later. Yes, we're strapped down now, but if he's going to leave us with even a single coin, that hardly counts. I need to find my equipment. Em, I'm in Diablo's mind. He's planning to attack Moscow. We'll alert the Russians. Before leaving for Moscow, I want you to destroy the mine. Understood. The air is heavy in methane. If I shut down their ventilation systems, it won't take much to ignite it. Good luck, Tableau 7. That all sounds like a solid plan, but we only have our dart gun right now. This should be the odds. Okay, now we've got a solid plan and the firepower to back it up. Let's get this bond moment for blowing up the dudes over there and get to work. Shotguns aren't as easy to come by anymore, but the Desert Eagle will suffice, so long as we never spend more than a single bullet on an enemy. I really, really should have used the P99 on those valves. What a waste of ammo. Warning, pneumatic crusher malfunction. Maintenance required. go but up. If it's not going to kill them in one shot, or if there isn't time to aim for a headshot, the best tactic is to just stun enemies with a single bullet and rush in for the melee kill. 
keeps us from wasting bullets, lowers efficiency, and also gets four times the points for each kill. Of course, this tactic typically leaves one open to a lot of fire if used incorrectly, but that's where using common sense comes in. Honestly, having a door and lasers that apparently operate independent of each other strikes me as incredibly redundant. Danger. Mine gas at saturation levels. All personnel, evacuate the mine immediately. That lift's not going anywhere, Bond. Oh really? I thought it was going to the Riviera. And with the mine set to explode, all that remains now is to dramatically run away from the explosion. take over from here. Where are we going? Ever been to Moscow? We're not stopping back at MI6, but we've got a few goodies to get equipped with before we arrive in Moscow, so let's take a look at the results screen. And there's the payoff that goes into punching a significant portion of the enemies. With how stringent the target times are for most missions, finishing the mission within that limit and getting all the bone moments is incredibly satisfying, on a level that most games simply can't reach. The network tap will let you take control of certain electronic devices, 007. Shoot the device that you want to control with a network tap dart, and then use the device against your enemies. What an interesting game mechanic. If only we'd gotten it about 40% earlier in the game. We've included a nerve toxin stinger on the spider device. You'll need to get close enough to touch your target, but it should knock them unconscious for several hours. Use this carefully, and you may be able to disable your enemies completely undetected. At last, we have the most overpowered tool in the entire game. 007, your spider device has been upgraded with the same camouflage technology as your stealth suit. Provided you keep movement to a minimum, it should be nearly invisible to your adversaries. Not as useful as you might think, by which I mean it's basically useless to us. Well, looks like we're locked and loaded for the final confrontation. I'll see you next time in Mother Russia.